This week, we start traveling down the 101 all the way from the northwest corner of Washington State. Join us as we share with you the highlights of the scenic byway as we stop by Lake Crescent, explore the Ho Rainforest Hall of Mosses, and find some pretty cool places along the way. Good morning. It is Sunday, and I am watching the Seahawks. Check out this entertainment center. <laughs> I'm just waiting for Crystal to come out of the hotel room. We had to go to a hotel room yesterday because um, uh, she needed to do some video conferencing with some pretty solid Wi-Fi. So we um, got a hotel so she could be up in the room and do her thing up there. Getting ready to take off down the 101. Oh, and here she is right now. Hola. I'm hungry. Okay, let's go eat. We are headed to Port Angeles right now. We were just in Squim. So we're over on the Olympic Peninsula of Washington State, as you probably already know if you've been following our videos. If you're ever up in this area, the Olympic Mountain Range is so close to the side of road and really close to the water. So you get these beautiful snow-capped peaks and then you're also getting a really lovely view of the water and even of Victoria, Canada, which is pretty cool. just pulled into the Lake Crescent area. This is my definitely one of my favorite places in the whole entire world. You definitely get a feel that we're in uh, in the rainforest because we're actually not that far from the whole rainforest. We're in the Olympic National Forest. Oh no! Bummer. So the lodge is closed. Oh. It's definitely one of the most gorgeous lodges. Bummer. Yeah. Well, there goes that idea. So, instead of being at the lodge right now, we're over at the boat at lunch. We're still beautiful. Gonna make the best of it. Oh, and the lake is still really green, even though it's, it's really cloudy out. Let's check it out. interesting story to know about Lake Crescent is that a man actually murdered his wife and threw her in the lake. I think he tied her to something and put her, took a boat out and took her to the middle of the lake, which I forget um, how deep it is, but it is very, very cold lake, that's for sure, because it gets really cold in here because it is part of the Olympic National Forest. Anyways, it was never found out that he actually murdered her until somebody found her body and it was so well preserved because of how cold the water was. They were able to identify her and then he was so just basically flabbergasted that she, she was able to be identified that he admitted it years later that he was the one that murdered her. So she is known as the Lady of the Lake and she is no longer, of course, in the lake. This lake is also an amazing swimming spot during the summer. Usually everybody goes to Lake Crescent Lodge. There's this, it's one of the few places that's public that has a beach which you can lay out in. Even if you're not staying at the Lake Crescent Lodge, the lodge is amazing by the way. It usually books up far in advance if you come here. So you definitely wanna look at booking months in advance. Uh, this is where we've taken my parents for their anniversary um, earlier this year while we were in the middle of our van build. I think we are gonna start heading down the 101 all the way down the coast, but 
because of all the issues we've been having with the van, especially if you followed our, along our last video. So we're headed to Portland now. To oh, I trust that we're gonna get some van things fixed up and then we're gonna head back over to the coast and then down the 101. So a little bit of a change, a little bit of a bummer. this but on our way down the 101 we actually are stopping through forks we're in twilight territory kind of a cool thing if you're into twilight that this is here it's right um, so this is kind of the line right between forks and la push la push is closed because of uh, covid just to keep all their um, all their people safe so we're going to turn around here we just found a cool spot camping spot near the Ho Rainforest. It's the Ho Oxbow Campground, free with a discovery pass, which we have, so it's free. Uh, we were not going to go to the Ho Rainforest, but turns out we are. <laughs> I think we're gonna go there tomorrow morning. Yeah. And then we're gonna go somewhere else. Like, not gonna... Yeah, it'll be a surprise. It's out the way. Just getting the day going here. We stayed the night at the um, Ho Rainforest, or the Ho Oxbow campsite. It's right on the Ho River, just outside the uh, Ho Rainforest. This really cool campsite that we found has eight sites and it's right off the 101 so it's very easy to find if you're driving past the 101 you want to go to the Ho Rainforest it's only two miles from the entrance to the Ho Rainforest and so we were the only ones here which was also very awesome of course it's rainy this time of year coming to the summer you'll at least get some sunshine and things like that we are off now we're gonna head to the to the rainforest and I think go to the Hall of Mosses like this is only about a three four mile trail and it's a pretty easy trail that most people can go on but you can also use this area to go to deeper parts within the Olympic National Forest into the valleys and basins and even go climb up further into the mountains So, a couple cool things about the Ho Rainforest is that it is the wettest rainforest, I believe, in all the continental U.S. It gets over 150 inches of rain per year. That's a lot of rain. That is a lot of rain. Most of the trees here are over 200 feet tall, and unlike tropical rainforests, this one is coniferous, meaning there's dug firs, hemlocks, cheese with pine needles and stuff like that. 
<laughs> wow. Look at this. This is crazy. So wow. Incredible. To the car, Lake Quinault. Lake Quinault. Drink some tea, go to Lake Quinault. Here we go. Cool. We didn't think we were actually going to be able to see the ocean today and we are at Ruby Beach right now Just a real quick pull off. We're not going to do the hike and go down to the water. It's stormy. It's rainy. It's very Pacific Northwest today It's very moody out. Very moody yeah. It's very goonies out. It's very goony. <laughs> yeah One thing about the Oregon coast, the Washington coast, which is so different from California, I think is that it's usually so foggy and overcast so you really can't see that far out. But it has this real dramatic, moody feel to it. Yeah, we just got to Lake Quinault and we're at the um, Lake Quinault Lodge here. And it is very nice. something called the Olympic Project, which does Bigfoot research in the area, which I think is super cool. But they have all these molds of past uh, footprints, or just prints that they found. Like, look at these things, they're huge. They're gigantic. Well, it is Bigfoot, so it's the size of that. So that lodge was pretty incredible. The build, it just has that beautiful dark wood. It's an amazing large fireplace and definitely has that cozy feel. We didn't see much information about the lodge itself, but I believe it was built in the early 1900s.
this old boat. What's the deal with it? It's a canoe. It's a canoe. In the Pacific Northwest, some canoes were built as large as 100, 100 feet long and 7 feet wide, which could hold up to 60 people. They were the um, form of transportation used by Native American tribes living near the rivers, lakes, and oceans. This is a 24-foot canoe. This is a 24-foot canoe. I just heard her say they made, they made them up to 100 feet long, 7 feet wide canoes. That's, that's not really a canoe anymore, is it? We just got done with our little excursion at the Lake Quinault Lodge. Wish we could stay here longer. Yeah, nice place. Yeah, we gotta get going because we have to head down to Portland, see the sky, about our van, fix it up. So I think we're gonna wrap up this video right here. Yeah. Yeah, so if you like this video, please give us a like, a subscribe. <laughs> We'd appreciate it. And we will see you next week and we'll see if we get our van fixed and we can head down south. I believe we will. See you then. Most of the trees here are over 200 feet tall and uh, like tropical for, uh, <laughs> All right.